The mystery in Forest Park, eight Malamute dogs have recently shown up and no one knows where they came from. Now, only on six, we tracked down the neighbor who found the first ones. Probably the most distinct thing when I first saw them was they both reeked. They smelled so, so, so badly. And tonight, neighbors are worried after some of the dogs killed a goat in the area and at least two are still on the loose. Well, Lisa Balick is digging deeper into the dog's strange appearance in the park, and she's live at the Audubon Society, not far from where some of those dogs are found. Lisa, what did you discover? Jeff, it's interesting. Neighbors say they have been showing up for the past three months, one, two, four at a time, and everyone wonders, where did they come from? Was it maybe an owner who didn't know that they got loose and someone who may have lived actually far from here, or were they dumped here? They may seem friendly, but watch out. I was washing dishes, and I saw a dog wander into the property, just one. Um, and at first, I thought it might be, I kind of just saw it out of the corner of my eye. I thought it might be a coyote or a deer, uh, but it was a dog. Sarah Dioria was surprised to see a Malamute wandering through the backyard of the home just off Thompson and Cornell in northwest Portland. So I was expecting some person to come following the dog, and no one came. So I went outside, and then a second dog wandered onto the property. One was very large, and the other was very small and skinny. She told me the dogs came running up to her jumping up, licking her face. She realized they had been out on their own for some time. Probably the most distinct thing when I first saw them was they both reeked. They smelled so, so, so badly. I don't know, like trash. But when she brought out some chicken to feed them, she got scared. Tore off some pieces of that and fed them so that to kind of keep them around the property. Um, that was a somewhat terrifying experience. Sarah called Animal Control, who picked up the dogs. One has been adopted, the other is in a rescue center. Just a few days after Sarah's experience in March, a neighbor shot and killed two Malamutes who had killed his goat. Another two Malamutes in that attack are still on the loose. Now in May, County officers have trapped a seventh dog found at a home. An eighth dog found nearby was also taken to a shelter. These dogs could have traveled quite some ways. I mean, they could have come from the coast, really. There's so much green belt if, they are, if they're um, out there living on their own. Even though the dogs had no collars or leashes, there is a link. From the clues, it looks like they all belong together because the first ones are pretty social and in pretty good shape in March. And then this last one is the most afraid and the most emaciated. So it looks like he's been out there for a little while. Now, the thing to keep in mind is there are likely, they say, more than two dogs out, and they could be anywhere in the metro area. So if you do see a Malamute out wandering around and notice it doesn't have a collar or a leash to it, you should call Animal Control. They will come get that dog, and we'll be following this story for you. Again, the mystery of exactly where these animals came from and how many are still out there. Live in Northwest Portland tonight, Lisa Balick, Coin 6 News. Yeah, very puzzling, Lisa. Thank you.